single dub this morning on those shoes. I think I entered five times. Yeah, didn't lose, a, didn't win a single one. But Saturday mornings has been a sort of ritual nowadays. Me, younger bro, and sometimes even older bro come come to the garage and train. We are uh, we're leaving this garage soon. Mum and dad have sold the house, so I'm going to be gymless in about a month. So I'm trying to make some plans, trying to get ahead. But yeah, I've got some cool ideas in the pipeline, so we'll just see what happens. But for now, Saturday morning session. It's a lovely day as well. I might go on another cycle. Um, but yeah, we've been doing just a bit of a bodybuilding bro split. Let's uh, let's crack on. Get my, um... It's been a minute since I've had the blue one. Also, I cut my own hair the other day. Well, Beth started it. I finished it because we were close to having a domestic. But yeah, I actually think I've done a half decent job. Well, I just want to show you this one because a lot of people have started buying equipment for their home gym and actually are going to remain training at home rather than going back to the gym, which I think is really cool. So this is, I'll link this down below, um, but it's actually a gymnastics ring set from Amazon. I think it's only about 20 quid. So it comes with two gymnastic rings and two sets of the uh, rope slash cable, whatever it is. But we're only using one set. We tie a kettlebell or something down to the bottom and you can do any sort of we basically just create a pulley system. So lat pull down, single arm rows, single arm lat pull down, tricep push downs, face pulls, all those movements that we haven't been able to do apart from with a resistance bag, now we can do um, just using that system and then the, the end of a barbell, because obviously the end of the barbell splits. So for example, me and Dan are now gonna do single on one knee, chest up, tuck those elbows in, and we're replicating sort of a lat pull down, a close grip lat pull down, just by using that cable. Once again, if we wanted to do a single, stretch and go. But now that's been able to sort of open us up to a load of different exercises that we haven't been able to do while training at home. So this is now probably a staple to, to home gym setup, and especially something like 30 quid, as long as you've got a bar. What a day for it. Look, Rossi's eating her Pringles. What are you saying about these new glasses, then? They're meant to be my cycling glasses, but I'm, I'm vibing off it. You, not so much. What are those? Mm. I reckon they look cool. I reckon I'm ready to be like, go surfing or something. What's the name? Chris Hoy. Who? Chris. Yeah, maybe. A uh, couple of spin, spin round. Jubel Biz. We met these guys when we did our Wee Sup, uh, the two owners. Really, really cool story behind this brand. In short, uh, they were doing a ski season. Uh, a lot of this is a peach flavoured beer and they do flavoured beers and that was a thing wherever their ski season was, I can't remember exactly. Um, so yeah, they thought there's not much going on in the UK, they brought it over. That song, Jabel, I'll try and play a little clip now. Me. Absolute massive tune. That is the, the name, the reason why the brand is called Jabel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really nice beer. This is was the it, peach flavour. Was it not a holiday? Might have been a holiday, don't it know. Surely it was like a hot summer holiday. No, it was skiing. I mean, oh. It was definitely skiing. I just think it was, yeah, I don't know where. But a fantastic beer. So, same reason Waitrose, go and try them out. Oh, oh, I didn't know they were Waitrose as well. Mm. I mean, it's not cheapest. Beer or can best. doesn't come in a multi package. It's also Bottle annoying. Or Bottle or can. Beer or can? Bottle or can. <laughs> I promise I've only had that much. I'm not drunk. <laughs> Right, Rossi, tell the team what's going on. We're hanging the rails. We're hanging the rails. So, like we have in the second, third bedroom, ha ha exposed hanging rails for all of our coats. Lot of coats, lot of clutter. We've got a box of coats to go in the loft. One of these, what pile's going in the loft? One. This one. 
and then we've bought a new exposed hanging rail. These come from Etsy, by the way, guys. I think they look really cool. Uh, just sort of like industrial feel, apart from they are filthy. Obviously, this is what they look like when they're up. I mean, that they look really, really cluttered. This one shouldn't look so full. Like I said, we're keeping the coats to a minimum. What do we say, Rossi? I reckon eight each tops. Um, but yeah, that's gonna come up here. We did have just a normal hanging rail and it was just cluttered and it was covering that. Covering the radiator, it looked hectic, so this should uh, finish the room off nicely and, and fill that empty wall. Drill, the drill ran out of battery. It goes fully forward, no, it? it never does, but that looks so much better. Like I said before, before we had just a normal closed rail and it was just clutter. Huge, wasn't it? Yeah, and then obviously when we walk in the door and you could just see the closed rail was coming out there, that looks a million times better. Great use of space. The main thing I would say is when you're putting these up, make sure that you don't Think line. Yeah, think about where you've got a screw hole, your screw hole is going to be because the main problem that we had was one screw hole, it was this one. I couldn't actually, I don't know if you can tell, you probably can, I couldn't screw it in, so we had to end up putting a short screw in because this was in the way. So if this was twisted a little bit and the screw holes were in a better place. It's super sturdy. Super sturdy, it looked a bit like a pull up bar. Yeah, so mega pleased with that, that was a good bit of DIY done. What beautiful time to be alive is the following Saturday. We started the weekend. We started the video last Saturday with a load of L's on all of our phones. Today, they dropped the University Blue Jordan 1s and we got them. Oh, we hit on one of the five accounts. Absolutely buzzing. To be fair, I was saying to Rossi, it's probably the ones that I wanted the most over the last, last two weekends was the Jordan 1 Zooms and a Jordan 4 Taupe Haze. Today was the Jordan 1 uh, University Blue. Cool trainer, very nice summer shoe. Yeah, I'm a happy man. And now we've got to try and get Rossi a pair in small sizes. Made it then, team. 22K to get to Winch. To a lovely Josie's. A well-earned, well-earned Josie's. How are you feeling, lads? Oh, they sound. It's a good little ride, that. Robbo's testing out. Oh, here's the new motor. Robbo, how was it? The new whip? Yeah, my last hole disagrees, but... Um, yeah, okay. look at the tiny, yeah. look at the tiny seat on it. Yeah, Al probably looks the most geared up for, for a ride with those little shorts on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, 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 bike is probably the least. Where are we looking? Look at that. Yeah. The Trek. But... Yeah, hybrid number. Yeah, hybrid number. You did a job. This is uh, the first time we're rocking the new... Actually, second time we're rocking these new Amazon. Best £20 I've ever spent in these cycling glasses. I'm rocking them daily. Open up ice latte. Switch from the flat white to the ice latte after the lunch one night. Look at that. Jeez. Got some Oreo pancake action. It is low, yeah. Okay, now we get things to do. Ah, where the hell have you taken us, lad? We lost. Lovely roads for it. Put on your mat. Fantastic little cycle then. Just under two hours and just under 45k. Nice to stretch today. So I feel like I get a little bit of quad cramp coming on. The old boy did pretty well. This is so needed, but I feel like getting some gel pants, you know, the ones that I need. Also, we had the GoPro strap on today, so hopefully that's all right. I mean, it was pretty damn shaky, so I don't know. We'll check it out. You'd have seen some footage if it was any good. And then I've also come home to this, which is the ski erg stand, obviously at the minute with the wall mounted ski erg at the garage. We're getting kicked out of the garage, so we've got the stand, we're putting plans in place slowly, but do you know what, just the quicker we find a unit, the better. So anyone local to me, anyone got a unit, barn, something to rent out, let me know. 
Okay team, we're capping off the video in the back garden. First of all, we did lose some GoPro footage, that's why there wasn't that much. But I expect to see some more because, yeah, I'm going to start to try, try and cycle at least once a week. Uh, I've just been really enjoying that format of cardio and it's nice to get out, stretch the legs. My goal, I quite, I quite fancy riding to Brighton, which is about a 50 minute drive. Be a big old ride, I don't even know if it's possible, I think you can through Pompey, Bogner, round the back. Uh, so yeah, that would be the goal, but yeah, I just want to sort of say, appreciate all the you guys still supporting the content at the minute. It's been quite hard for us YouTubers, or I say us YouTubers, I found it quite hard to vlog during lockdown, where we haven't really been training, where I haven't really been actually being allowed to go to the garage, and even though I've been going myself and, and training, I just haven't really wanted to put it out there, I haven't really wanted to gloat, I don't know if it seems like gloating. Um, so yeah, that's why I haven't filmed too much fitness content, obviously there was a little bit in the start of this video, um, but 12th of April is when the UK gym is back open, and then that's when I'm going to hit this content hard, and I cannot wait. Um, like I said, I've talked, talked about it there as well, the ski stand arrived, that is because I have plans to turn this outside space and I know it's not much, into a potential outdoor gym for me, for Rossi, and potentially even for clients uh, during the summer. If the weather's nice, there's no reason why we can't train. So um, yesterday, I spent the day, and I had two of the lads help me. The, uh, the fence, you can see the drill holes was there. We managed to push the fence and gate. Just to give us this extra room, the plan is to have a shed here. I've ordered a shed. I've got some gym mats there hiding, potentially even a wall-mounted squat rack. And then this could be just a little cool outdoor gym space. So obviously, we're getting this redecked later in the summer. Those slabs are going to come down. And then that could little be a little outdoor space. So uh, stick around for the journey. That's going to happen over the next sort of few weeks. Coming weeks, is that's, uh, that's what we've got to look forward to. Once again, I do appreciate anyone watching these videos. And I'll see you in the next one.